Hello, everybody. This is uh, Sergeant uh, First Class Rick Higgins, uh, former. I uh, used to serve, uh, first served eight years in the Marine Corps as a sergeant of Marines. Uh, I just wanted to make this video really, really showcasing this NCO sword. Now, I've had cheap NCO swords before, and they are just exactly that, cheap. So I decided that I was going to get me the official uh, Marine Corps sword that was bought or, or approved, certified by the Marine Corps logistics uh, people, the command supply people. So this one I purchased at Camp Lejeune uh, at the exchange. It is the commercial version, but still has to meet the regulations. It's a far better produced sword. It's very nice. The Marine Corps regulations stipulate that these things are made with a certain uh, specific uh, details, and they must be serial numbered on the spine, uh, so the serial number has to be applied. Now, a lot of these other companies that you can buy these things from, uh, you can get these things. They, they look good uh, 20 feet, 30 feet away, but there is a difference, and that's what I have come to find out. So this is going to be detailing, highlighting the, one of the biggest differences. Now, this one was made by Officers Equipment Company that purchased, that gets these things from a manufacturer in Schmitz, Germany. Now, the higher quality ones are made in Germany. Uh, there are some that are made in Spain. But the cheaper ones that don't meet the requirements come from places like India, uh, China, and uh, other uh, sites that uh, aren't up to the snuff. Not saying they don't work. They're good for ceremonies. They're good for dress-up uh, costumes. Uh, they're, they, they're, just, they're just not the real deal. But anyway, let me just show these up. This is a beautiful... 24 karat gold plated uh, sword handle. Now take a look at that. And you can say one of the big differences is if you look at that pommel, the end of it, it doesn't have a plain old screw holding it all together like the cheaper ones do. So this one is very tight, real leather, uh, wrapped really nice. So it looks really good. So, I just wanted to show this. There we go. Check that out. So, very nicely done. Uh, detailed. This is patterned after, after a, uh, an 1840, 50 something uh, sword. So, it's the Marine Corps version. Now, if you'll notice, this one has a number. You see that number right there? That just denotes the length of the sword that are made for your height. So when you're a certain height, you have to buy a certain length sword so that when you hold it, uh, it present arms and order arms and everything, that's exactly where it's supposed to be. So there we go. Now, hang on a second. I'm going to show the manufacturer's uh, information. Let me put this right here. Just a minute. Oh, zoom the black. Here we go. I've got it out now. And this is the blade. And this is the manufacturer's marking. Well, I mean, maybe I better turn it where it can be read. Here we go. Hope nobody gets dizzy. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. There we go. How about that? Officer Equipment Company in Germany with some fine stainless steel. And as you can see, the different branches that they serve. So, this is the etching. Again, pardon my... There we go. Up. Oh. In focus, there we go. There we go. Very fine, detailed. 
detailed shot of the manufacturing company, the serial number that the Marine Corps requires be applied, the engraving on the spine of the sword. Let me see. Focus, focus. Well, it's going to be kind of hard. Okay, uh, not good at that. Then you can tell the quality of these engravings. Woo, there we go. Well, maybe. Yep, for some reason or other, my focus just isn't working as well today. As you can tell, the steel is very mirror polished. It's very, very nice. So, <clears throat> this just seems to be an overall fantastic quality sword. One that I really like. And the other side. Uh, there's a shot of my kneecap. Y'all don't get too excited. There we go. Look at this. It's not too bad for an old man. Hey, look at my shoes. Ha ha ha. Anyway, that's what you get when you buy unisex bedroom slippers. Anyway, here we go. Okay, just wanted to make sure y'all saw this. Once again, very superb quality sword. And the engravings are just beautiful. Okay, have a great day.